Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for October 2024. We are going to have a money reading first and a love reading. There is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box if you are interested in that. Let's begin here with a couple of Oracle cards pertaining to money presence. You're being asked to spend more time in the present moment to stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now. And when you're not present for it, you miss all of its beauty. Even if you're under a lot of pressure and stress, or if you say, look, my right now sucks. Okay, I'm getting through day to day by looking into the future and having hope. I still feel like there may be some gems in the present and look for the helpers. Mr. Rogers' mother told him that. Look for the helpers. Resolution. Whatever it is that you've been struggling with, it's about to be resolved. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in the way we hope or want, but being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. Doesn't it though? Getting, I heard that monkey off your back, if it's some kind of addiction or a debt situation, something that's been plaguing you, you're beginning again, beginning anew. All right, we are going to continue with the money reading here. You have the Two of Pentacles, Choices, Decisions, the Two of Cups. Oh, ho, ho, ho. time to take flight, Aquarius. The Fool is in the outcome, which is fantastic. And the Page of Pentacles is telling you that you have good news on the way with money. Now look at the size of that infinity symbol, will you? Infinite opportunities. You are going to be bringing in multiple opportunities, but you do have one that's a real standout. Now, if you're trying to start a business, you're going to have all the work and business you can handle. Okay, this may be a very busy time for you, but it's fun. Enjoy it. Your ships are coming in here. You know, when we they talk about that, they I watched a, a video about um, whalers and, and the idea that their wives would wait until their ships were coming in and just understanding that term a little bit better. It's like something you've hoped and waited for is finally here. And so, and there's a knowing though too, right? There's a knowing with it. But with this Two of Pentacles, it is choices, and you have it again, too, with the Two of Cups. Twos are about partnerships as well. So with this Two of Cups, if you need help, you have a match. But I also feel like, too, you may get a new job where you are their help. You are the one that they're looking for. And I feel like they will treat you like gold. You may be busy at first and almost too busy to enjoy it. I keep getting this feeling of, like, too busy to enjoy it. So make sure you're intentional. Take a breath. Stop yourself just for a minute. You know, and even if it's a housing situation, perhaps it's your first house and you sit down and look around and say, this is mine. This is mine. I can do what I want with it. And especially too, if your energy is quite hyped up, just give yourself a minute to take it all in and enjoy it. Now, if you're going on vacation too, though, I feel like somebody here, you're in a beautiful area. You've got beautiful surroundings and they keep saying that. Take it all in and enjoy it, no matter what it is. Even if you've had horrible stormy weather and it's created significant damage. I mean, and that can be scary, right? I know. I mean, it can be terrifying. Um, but I do feel like with this, like sort of the, the still after the storm, the calm after the storm, taking it in and enjoying there, looking and saying, you know, all will be well. So with this full energy, you better get ready because when this takes a hold of you, any new opportunities, you will hit the ground running. If you have any kind of training that you'll be getting, you will pick it up like a sponge. This is called the beginner's mind. His mind is full of nothing, which means you don't have any hangups. You don't have any, and there's nothing worse. I've had this at my job where people come in and they keep talking about how they did everything at their old job and nobody wants to hear it. Well, at my previous job, and it's like, well, go work there if it's that great. Um, we have our ways of doing things and sometimes it can help, but most of the time it's just sort of annoying. I feel like with this, you'll be in the place of just getting into gear with whatever you're doing. Now, if you're starting some kind of a business, I do feel like you have just a little bit of an edge. 
You have something unique and special to offer that people are going to be gobbling up with this. This is the kind of energy, though, where you have such a fervor, where you're ready. You have nothing holding you back. All you have here is infinite opportunity. You have it here, too. In the number zero, infinite possibilities. So with the page of pentacles, you have optimism, you have offers coming in, you have money coming in. And so in terms of a money reading, these cards are great. You almost couldn't ask for better. But with the page of pentacles too, he's also the lifelong learner. So if you do have any kind of training, I feel like you're going to take to it immediately. If you're some kind of metaphysical teacher, or you work with your hands in some way, um, you know, like I keep hearing a doctor, but if you're into chiropractic or physical therapy or something like that, I feel like you have a gift and the more training you get, the better it becomes. So let's see here what else we need. Embrace this much deserved time of happiness. I'm not surprised to see something like that because these cards are happy. There's nothing negative or down about them. It's such a nice, refreshing change of pace. All right, now we are going to change gears and ask about love. Love call, okay, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Now, even if you're going through a breakup, if you're here asking about reconciliation, I'm telling you what, this person goes through their phone and looks at pictures of you. I do feel like with this, whoever it is, they may use this as a tool to communicate. In some ways, phones are great in that respect, right? We're not having to leave uncomfortable messages on answering machines. Anybody get to do that back in their day? You have the card of addiction, codependent, obsession, restraint, possession and control, emotional block. So watch out for codependent energies and patterns. Okay, great book out there by Melody Beattie, Codependent No More. Sometimes people will post about this thing they're calling high functioning anxiety. I'm a licensed clinical and macro social worker. I, to me, I read the traits and it's like, that's codependence. That's not high functioning anxiety. I don't even know what they're talking about. So you know what? If you spot it, you got it, as we always say. So it may be something to just be aware of. Uh, let's see here. What else? All right, you've got the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So it might be slow moving, but I'll tell you what, it's going to go, it, it will make it last, okay? With this Two of Wands, especially, I like in the outcome because it's planning a future together. So in the past, you've got the Knight of Swords, and this one can be rather aggressive. It also, too, can be the truth coming out. So perhaps if you've had an ex, that had an addiction or something you found out about them that just did not sit right with you. Like information, like they were living a double life. I mean, talking serious. I mean, that's not light when you say, okay, somebody's living a double life. Um, with this, so I do feel like you may have had information come in that you could not ignore. And I also feel like too, in the past, if you've had people that when you meet them, you can tell they have a hair trigger temper, it will immediately turn you off. And I've encountered people like that myself, and it's like, I have no interest in you. I don't want any more of that. And even on the day-to-day -day level, they're already kind of edgy. No thanks. So with this hermit energy, I feel like what you've done here, or what they're telling you to do, this is in the present. Know thyself. And this is not kind of the knowing of yourself of what restaurants you prefer. This is like deep. Okay, this is like, take me down deep. Ask mature questions about your own spirituality, why you're here. And I'll tell you what, you'll bring in a soulmate like nobody's business. You do have a match here. And so I feel like it all begins with you, your own insight, and even into why things went in the direction that they went. I mean, there's nothing wrong with looking at it. I always say this, 
You can look at the past, just don't stare. I feel like it's about learning about you is what's really important. It's not even about taking the other person or people's inventory. And when you're like this, you are unshakable. You have a beauty, a grace, a purity, a spirituality about you that brings an unconditional connection. So it's not just you, it's also them where they can see the good in you and some of those more human foibles. They're not worried about it. We don't, we're not looking to correct. And so with the two of wands, you also have the garden of the magician down here. So I feel like this is a time, this is a card of a visionary to plan for the future. If you're meeting people, looking at the long term, again, some of those little peaks of stuff, you know, little peeps, you know what I mean by that? You see something where you go, that's temper. I mean, I, I'm not talking about looking for, you know, minor issues. I mean, like the stuff that you really say, that's not going to work. I feel like you're vetting people and moving on here. And you have one that comes in that checks all the boxes. Now, it could be a um, an earth sign. I do get it here with this Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody, too, if you tend to be kind of spontaneous, this is somebody who will balance out some of this. They like to have the plan B. If you're already with them and you say, yes, that is them. They are a solution-oriented problem solver. They love to be prepared. And with this, though, it is for the long run, okay? It's bringing in love for the long haul, not just for the weekend. All right, let's see what else. Sleep on it, okay? So with that hermit energy, no, don't just sleep on it. Meditate. And I'll tell you one more thing. In the a description box, there's a Neville Goddard um, Law of Attraction message. Intend on it. In that state akin to sleep, you intend on having the love of your life and your subconscious will bring it in because it has to. So it is law, universal law. Good things are on the way for you, Aquarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.